everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm finally outside. It's been a while since I've been outside for a video, but everything going on inside is kind of redundant. It's just more stonework, putting in more uh, cabinets, nailing them into the ground, uh, the floor. I finally got some more ram set nails here to finish that up. Uh, that's all pretty redundant, but what I'm doing out here is a little bit um, different, and I have a cool sort of tip for you that I'll share with you at the end of the video, so, uh, something I've been doing that's worked out pretty well. But I just want to tell you what I've been working on is this, the mailbox. Uh, I wanted to put in a mailbox now. I, I know we don't live here yet, but I want to start transitioning, you know, bills and things like that to uh, come over to this address. Also, once I do get some bills at this address, I can start transitioning my legal uh, residence to this new place. You need a couple bills at the new address in order to do that. Uh, so I got a mailbox. It's a pretty big mailbox, as you can see, uh, because I want to be able to fit a lot of packages in it because we... We can't put it at the end of our driveway. The United States Postal Service does not service this road. It's got to be like down the road, almost a mile away somewhere. So, you know, if there's packages, I'd like it if they went into something instead of just dumped on the on the bottom next to it or something like that. So, got a, a reasonably large one. It's just stuck on a 4x4 post here. Uh, now, uh, we're going to temporarily put it up to make sure that the Postal Service feels like it's a good spot and everything. That was by their suggestion. We're going to do it in a bucket. There's just a bucket over here, that little gray one. Uh, and uh, just put it on the side of the road with you know some gravel and dirt in there to try it out and make sure that it works out all right. That bucket there had a bunch of stain in it. Uh, that was the bucket I mixed the stain in for doing all the, uh, the ceiling joists. Uh, and I needed to kind of use up the last of the residue in there, so I decided why not uh, you know, stain the post, which makes it look kind of nice, but really it was just to use up the stain that was in that thing. What I uh, wanted to share with you guys today is, uh, is this right here. Um, uh, I've been trying to keep the brushes from kind of hardening up with uh, dipping them into, I think I think it's like mineral spirits or paint thinner. I forget what I have in this one particularly, but you know, something to keep it so that the, the brushes don't harden up. And this is just uh, juice containers here, but uh, this worked out pretty neat. And I want to show you this. Just pick this up here. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the paintbrush top extends way out of this thing. It has, it has little ribs for kind of cleaning the brush too on the side, these little grip ribs. Um, but what's kind of neat is I took two of them and made it so that there's a bit of an overlap. The juice container is usually that high. And it's got this little indent here on both of them. And if you get the handle right through there, it kind of clicks. Now, if it fell over, it would still spill. But it's kind of neat, and it, it uh, reduces the amount of fumes because it's just a small hole at the top. But, you know, it can fit with the uh, paintbrush going through there. So I presume there's lots of different containers you could do that with. But if you take two of them, have a little bit of an overlap, you can uh, kind of click them together if they have any kind of like geography over the surface. So that's that. I'm just going to let this dry in the sun and then uh, you'll bring it down on the way out of here. Check with the Postal Service, make sure that they like its location, and then I can start transferring bills over here. But for the rest of the day, just more concrete work on the stone wall and working on kitchen cupboards. That's it. Thanks for watching.